All right, folks, next up on the block, we've got for you uh, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven superstars, racing superstars from Matchbox. Each of these uh, was put <clears throat> out by a company called uh, White Rose Collectibles, if I'm not mistaken. They made customized sort of advertising pieces for various organizations, companies, etc. Including, if I'm not mistaken, Mannheim Auction for a little while. So let's walk you through it. You're going to get all seven of them here. The first thing I'm going to do is show you the size marker. You're going to get uh, about 164th scale on these. All of them come what appears to be new in the packaging. So um, I do want to point out that, yeah, these 1993, uh, there's 1995, and then there are 1996. And if I'm not mistaken, all of these just come like this. Yeah, they don't appear to be glued. Just come to be a friction bound right that means it is very very possible that somebody came through opened them up played with them looked at them did whatever put them back in there however i doubt it it's my professional opinion that these were never opened uh used or displayed i believe and and based on the collection that they came from the consigner that they came from i suspect that to be the case however uh you'll see for yourself you'll get to make your own decisions as to what your opinion is as we show you each of these so first off we've got a uh, cat caterpillar racing the 95 car um, i'm going to show you the condition on these as well as we do these that's why we do these video condition reports you'll get a chance to see the box all the way around looking pretty good right there and as i put it back down i'm going to display it on the back so you can see the back as well uh, the McDonald's Racing number 94. This is from the 1995 Superstar Series. A little bit of wear there on the uh, bubble. Yeah. Overall looking pretty good. Since McDonald's there. Quaker State Racing. Again, a little bit of damage here on the, uh, the bubble. Happens a lot of times with these cars. Number 26. From 1994, there's the 1995 Superstars. We'll jump into this one right here. Alan Kowicki, and all of these are marked Alan Kowicki from 1993, the number seven car. This one is Cellular One sponsored. So just slight issues with the bubble there. And what I like in 1993 was, uh, so I'm a little bit torn on this one. It has this uh, back to it, so you can see the front and the back. I really like that. I like that that's on there. Uh, the only thing is it makes these stress marks as result on here. So point those out. We'll let the light shine off of it so you can see that. The same here. This is the uh, Dover Raceway. Um, this one, the bubble has seen better days. So there is some cracking. You can hear it uh, in that bubble right there. You can hear it more than you can see it. Kind of odd, a little bit of yellowing to the bubble as well. It's obviously uh, been, had some crush wear to it, but pretty cool nonetheless. Flip it over and you can see the other side of the car. Again, a number seven, this time for the Pocono Raceway. Near and dear to our hearts. Just up the road here, we got plenty of consigners up in that area. So we're up in that area quite a bit. Always a joy. And in fact, work with some other auctioneers up in the uh, mountains. And then, whoops, didn't even show you the front. <laughs> this is the Haynes version, uh, also from 1903. Whoops, getting away from me there. A little bit of yellowing to the bubble, but no real damage per se. And we'll flip them over so you can see the back. There you have it. Now you can see the back of these as well. Um, nothing too exciting there other than, as I said, these little peekaboo windows that I think are really great.